Hello, this is Demon 75 Games, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2, Sons of Abraham. Our armies are down in Iberia. We took on Kingdom of Asturias. Asturias? They are all Muslim down here. And um, yeah, right to the border of Aquitaine, they're all Muslim. Is this Muslim? That's Muslim too. So we're going to have to... Oh, there's a few Catholics. But we are Scandinavia. We're Norse. And we are actually wracked by a large civil war that just started up right uh, just days before we concluded the success of this holy war to grab a foothold down here in uh, Iberia. Now we have to turn our armies north and fight all these traitorous bastards. And the year is 1190. Where are the Mongols? I don't know. They should be coming through here soon. Um, this whole area is at risk. I don't know how far they're going. Historically, they went, they took over all this, and they went even into up here, destroyed the Teutonic Knights Order, and then, I think that was actually in the 1200s, was it not? But then they hit the uh, Teutonic Knights. I think they went into Poland, or did they, they were just going to go into Poland. Then uh, Genghis Khan died, and the leaders turned back, and then they just held on to this area. But you know, without this, without the Mongols coming through, uh, apparently. Russia couldn't have been formed. I'm not sure why. I think maybe it unified because it's very disparate. Look how s small a lot of these people, these nations are. It was probably like that at the time as well. Um, but I know they, they took and sacked Kiev. They actually destroyed Kiev. Right here, it's Kiev, county capital. So, um... Wow. Look at the Byzantines. They hardly exist anymore. Um, in their place, Armenia is there, and they're Nestor... What religion are they? What's the official religion? They're Nestorian, which is an orthodox heresy. And uh, I believe that they... I hope it's not the Rajas of India, but I hope it, uh, that DLC... I hope it's this DLC that they're able to make that the primary... This is him. Make that the primary religion. And the other one's heresy, so Nestorian would become the main. Um, yeah. But uh, this place, I mean, the Muslims tried a, a crusade against Armenia and they failed, so I don't know what's going on down here. Uh, religion. So it looks like Orthodox, even though it's a heresy, is making a comeback. And uh, the Catholics had a successful crusade maybe about 50, 100 years ago. No, it was about 50 years ago. And they took uh, Greece, and uh, now they're in the process. And Cumania is actually not a bad empire. It's it's uh, Tengri. They're probably one of the most powerful empires in all of uh, Russia. They go even into the Balkans down here. But the Muslims are so broken up now, and I'd like to take advantage of that. Uh, and I want all of this. I want uh, Hispania. I want it to be a completely Norse state run by Norse and we'll do it too we will do it these uh, Ibadi uh, Sunni heresy I wonder if that's is this Catholic Sunni it's just kind of a big mix in the north because I guess they haven't finished converting everyone but with our religion 75 I mean it's been better we did lose a, our crusade in here and then we uh, came back a generation later um, because my father died in battle and I guess in England against uh, some uprising up there. So we've got a lot of fighting ahead of us. There's a large numbers of here. Uh, I hope we don't need to call in. Well, the levies are already raised, so we've lost a lot of leaders here. Gee. Oh, you know what? It looks to me. Seems to me that, yeah, they just. It seems every time I load up the game, all my generals are gone. I was hoping I wouldn't have lost everybody. I think that we can safely combine the two. Let's see, what, what's worse? Well, it doesn't look too bad back in our home home territories. Maybe we can... Um, we'll, we'll, we'll leave all three split up. Three armies. Let's send this one, the smallest of, of the three, back home. But, uh, yeah, all our military is completely up and raised when this happens. So it's all centralized, it's all ready to go. We lost our spy master. She was murdered on the oral orders of Jarl Ivar of Iceland. Damn it. 
Well, um, what I would like to do with... Let's put him... Where are you? Right here. So, let's get to the Chancellor. I think it's here. Devanar? Yeah. Dehubarth. Dehubarth. Scheme. Try to eliminate the other factions that still exist. Man, I hate factions. I really do. I know it's realistic to have civil war, especially back in this time, but and this is a way of doing it, and I suppose that that's correct. Oh, uh, yes, I also married my children off, by the way. Uh, who is this? Vassal of the Chief of Astoria. Oh, no, this is the guy I put in place and had to marry one of my courtiers. Uh, I also did make two uh, marriages, uh, betrothals with my children. Uh, I wish to see on behalf of one of your prisoners. You're all Finland. Very well. Prison by Prince Theron, Mayor of Burgos. I don't know. Well, we have to wait for the retinue to get out. There's a very mountainous area around here. Like, if you go look, like this Astorgas, and I mean, I remember this from the map. Peace with you. I've decided to accept your suggestion of betrothal between Prince Eric and Esther. I know she's twice his age right now, but she's pretty damn good. Flamboyant schemer. Her traits are really good. She's attractive. I've never actually married somebody who's attractive. She's Hungarian. Um, twin, ambitious, deceitful, patient, zealous, brave. So all we have to do is convert her, and then all will be done. Picture certainly doesn't make her look attractive. I wish that the attractive women had attractive pictures. Like, my current wife, she just looks kind of plain. It's funny that we keep on marrying foreigners. Like, I don't know, in our bloodline, how, how Swedish are we right now? I don't know. This has been going on for hundreds of years. We just keep marrying. It's it's typically it's uh, Slavic wives, like Polish or Russian. Uh, this one's finno ugric I have no idea what, what they would count as. Are they a Germanic? Because Swedish and Norse is Germanic, or North Germanic. So if you look, oh, that's religion. Swedish, North Germanic. And finno ugric is like Finland, and uh, I think it's along the Baltic states as well. So it, it's kind of like this area. Um, yeah, I, I think originally it was up here as well, but we kind of kicked them out. But, uh, yeah, they're probably so close... I, I would make the guess. They're very close. Um, I, I can't say for sure. I really don't know. All I know is we've converted, like, the cultures. If you look at the culture, that's religion. We've converted a lot to Swedish here, but it's still a big holdout of Finnish here, or Lapish. What is Lapish? I, I don't know. What is Lapish? Finno Ugric. And Estonian Finno Ugric. Like Italian, it's Baltic. So I don't know what Baltic is. I know there's a lot of blondes out there. There was some island out. I don't know if it was Lithuania or Estonia or um, what did they do? They just had a big blonde celebration because pretty much everyone, some island or some resort, and pretty much all blondes that work there. <laughs> I don't know. It's a couple years ago. Celebrating blondum. Blondes are not dumb. Well, I'm personally dirty blonde, so I know I'm not dumb, I'm, I consider myself highly intelligent, though that does sound a bit conceited, but that's how I view myself. May you live in harmony and contentment, I have decided to set, accept your suggestion of a betrothal between Princess Svanhild and Jarl Dobrina, um, Jarl Novogod, so uh, I think he owns, he's like independent, yeah, he doesn't have, so he, my daughter's six and he's fourteen. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. He's zealous. Uh, he's also Norse, which is really good. So he starts out the same religion. Come on, let's get going here. Too much talk and none of action. Oh. Inherited county of Nomado. Okay. I don't know. Up to here, up to England. Uh, the worst of it actually looks to be like... Oh no, it's it's all over the place. I don't know. Should we go? Let's start in Ireland. Let's go up here. Actually, you know what we can do? We can split, put one here and one here. Here we come to end your fun. 
son of a bitches. Okay, call in allies. This guy, Kinsman, Chief of Leon, is just down there. Um, offer vassalization. We should offer vassalization. He's Norse. Do we have any other ally? Chai Chief, Moskva. Let's see if he comes in. We can unfortunately not join your wars at this time. Okay, army of filter Dalen can go there. At least I got him up to nine for uh, Marshall. And, okay, come on, back to the ship. Crying out loud. Let me shoot, there we go. The larger of the two, this one, go right here. It's well led. And once this is down, we'll send the rest back. Let's see, where is it bad? Let's put them in skein. No, what the heck is this? Got him. 4,000. It's quite a lot. I think we can do it. We're going to take some losses. them here. Oh, blue. Yeah, and we caught them there. So we caught them in two places. This is the one I'm more concerned about. They have good leadership. Victory. Hurt them bad. Where are they going? Uh, it doesn't even show where they're going. Let's go kill this force here. Okay. Let's take them out. Lost a general there for some silly reason. It happens quite often. I wish it would just replace him with the next highest up. Thanks to my wise stewardship of Sejal and the local thieves guild has been eradicated. Oh, we still had one there. Yeah, we did. Got this army. Now, let's go take out this one. Got that. Caught them. Trying to catch these guys. Yeah, this is such a fun game. It just time flies by while I'm playing it. And I always miss playing it. Don't feel like I don't get to play it and finish it up as fast as I would like. Captured in battle is now my prisoner. Where are they going? Northampton. It's right there. They're heading up there. They better be reinforcing these guys, yeah. That's why I have no money. <laughs> it's all going to pay for those. Guys. Oops. Come on. Got them. Okay, so. Uh, there's a bit of a force over here. Yeah, I just finished up a... a South Park the Stick of Truth video in which I did epic battle against Mongolians in there to get rid of them and then uh, be funny enough if they show up in this video or the next which I'll be doing today since I just posted one up. I don't know where these guys are going but they're running like little cowards. Well, uh, I'm just going to go back to the ship. Oh, it's not out. There. Get out into the water. Somebody has been... Okay. Okay, come on, when I give you orders, please follow them. these guys invasion by sea because everyone seems to be running from them. Okay, so now down to here, we will capture them. And back, there's so many of them up here. 
Can't seem to catch these guys. Oh, they're fighting a battle, so we can get them. I keep going into debt. Let's see if we can't capture these guys. Got a small, tiny, small force. Can't seem to capture these guys, so. Got them up there. Finally caught these guys. My daughter Svanhill is aiming for the stars, the ambitious little brat. That is only right. Svanhill sets great goals for herself and works hard at reaching them. She has gained the ambitious trait. Good. It's always it's like one of the best traits in the game. I wish all of my emperors would get that trait. Okay, we wiped them out. Uh, let's see if we can't catch these guys. Yeah, I know we keep going into debt. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, lack of funds. Steve's guild is established in Upland. Complaining about whatever. How bad is it? Yeah, it's bad. Um, how much more do you need to reinforce? It's not show oh, because it's it won't show up because yeah, every time we do get the money, it will. Uh, We'll just siege Jorvik there. Oh, would you stop establishing thieves guilds? What I have to do is just bring it down to nothing for now. The money should shoot up. Yeah. There, we should be able to catch him now. Got him. Now let's go get these guys. These guys moved. The cowards they are. Lots of guys up there. We're gonna have to go up there. Wow. Masters call to arms. One of your obligation has to the against of France. Who are you? Ofer of Lyon. Uh, I guess we'll do it, but I don't know how we're going to do it. We have the forces out. We have to finish the civil war first, though. Now we're at war with France, but France is only half of what France normally is. I could send my retinue down there, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I think I'll do that. You bloody well, stop running for me. Oh, we'll catch him this time. Got him. Oh, the Teutonic Order. The Order of Brothers of the German House of St. Mary in Jerusalem has been formed, sponsored by the Catholic Church and the Holy Roman Emperor. The Teutonic Order, much like the Knights of St. John and the Knights Templar, primarily protect and care for pilgrims to the Holy Land but will serve any Catholic ruler willing to pay for their upkeep. Being a religious order, they will only fight against heretics and infidels. The infidels come in many flavors. Traditionally, they went after uh, Lithuania up here, just kind of uh, by force, converted them. It's brutal. Uh, that also could have stopped them, actually, uh, now that I think of it. And allowed orthodoxy to continue. Uh, but I don't think they would have attacked the orthodox. But more places would have been converted to Catholicism, I believe. Uh, if the Mongols hadn't come and stopped them. But I don't know. I'm just... I don't know this for sure. I'm just speaking on... Kind of half out my butt. Okay, so let's go up here. I'm just trying to siege our own damn place. Okay, so... Um, Military, let's put it to half. So at least they're reinforcing, but it won't take all of our money. Go and start seizing places in France, I guess.
Catch them! Okay, thank you. Now we have a large army up here. Let's go get them. Prince Eric, he wants... Um... That he wants to kill my son. She does. End plot, you bitch. Where are we? Oh, 10,000 soldiers. Let's put them there next to it. Let the morale go up. Come on, get off. Okay. 120 soldiers a month. Let the morale go up a little bit. We caught them in metal pad. Let us ransom her. Oh, we caught a small force there. I think that they're good to go. Attack a large French force. Attack the enemy in Lyon. Okay, so we have more heavy cavalry. We have more light cavalry. We probably have more of everything. Yeah, definitely heavy infantry. They have a lot of light infantry. Chaos of Battery Men have managed to corner Prince Berman. He resisted bravely before they slew him. Queen of France. She's just a Queen of France. Good riddance. Uh, we're really hurting them. There's another force coming up. Knights Templar, did I read that right? What? Okay, what the hell? What happened to France? What is this? Th that's not France anymore. It's Bavaria. How in the hell did that happen? Did the queen die and she... Of Bavaria. King Lothar the Noble. King of Bavaria, King of France. Oh, his mom died, and somehow he... Queen of Bavaria, that's it, because... Oh, see, this is what can happen when you have princes marry princesses. They've united this kingdom. It's There's no more France. Is the war still going between us? I guess it is. But now they're way more powerful. He's uh, still in the Carl Carling bloodline, too. Let's go here and try to finish these bastards off. Um... Adopt the Marshal's plan. Military technology spread rate 100%. Attack, 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 charge. Curses. What? Oh. I got uh, the trait Wrath. Well, it's through my Marshal by 3. He's now 12. Should be. Yeah, what's going on? It's like. United Bavaria, France, <laughs> Germany. Well, Germany's not united, but... Finish these guys off. Got them. Now let's hit this unit. Not paying attention to what's going on up here. This is just too interesting what's going on. So, let's go and siege this spot. I was inspecting the damage to the highest tower in Penethir when the head of Svanhild appeared outside the window, 50 meters above ground. What should I do with this curious child? Okay, this is just totally like Game of Thrones. Curiosity has never killed anyone. Oh, 50% exchange. Honest, 50, 35 brave, 10 wounded, and 5 maimed. But why is her opinion of me changed by minus 200 for 5 years? Teach her a lesson? Strictly forbid her to climb the tower. Curiosity has never killed anyone. She's going to hate me for five years. Well, we'll have to go with it. She speaks the truth whenever possible and never seems to lie. She's gained the honest trait. Okay, but she doesn't hate me. Well, it's some gift. But it was minus 200 for five years. 
Okay, then. Back to the war. Let's capture these French Bavarians. This is the king. King of Germany. King Folkhard of Germany. King Lothar the Noble. This is the cream of their, their nobility. Faster bottom. Okay, finish that off and then start sieging. Siege. Get this stupid war over with. So we won. We ho oh, ho. We only took 548 casualties. And gave them 4,700. Which, let's finish them off. I don't know. Uh, oh, what ha Looks like. Yeah, the army of Leon is still there. This is this not where they went? Anyways, we want to finish them off. Doesn't matter how many soldiers they're going to bring. We will destroy them. Continue north. Let's grab this army of Zid Zdrad. Yeah, we need to uh, siege that spot. 59% for the civil war. Let's grab these idiots. Them go. Let's siege this place down and kind of guard Lyon. We have attacked the enemy in Lapland. Caught them finally. Eleven ninety-three. Still no Mongols. Okay. So, oh, I thought I said ten thousand. I was like, whoa, just one thousand something. Sieging this place. There's a lot of places in Jorvik. Oh. Sure that they win. Probably still reinforcing a lot. Yeah, 238. They should attach uh, Leon if he was smart. Would attach his army to mine. You are drawn to a large, cheerful crowd standing in front of a tall building in Cornuel. It seems that they have gathered to watch the antics of a man who has climbed onto the building's roof. The despairing man, tired of the hardships of life, is threatening to jump, and several of the onlookers are goading him on. <laughs> I like this. I don't do it. You rush forward to try to stop the suicide. You hurry inside the building and join the desperate man on the roof. No, stay away, he cries when he sees you. You slowly climb out on the ledge next to him. I just want to talk, you say, as you edge closer. Talk to the man. 50% chance, I'll prevent him a 50% chance, uh, I'll fail. You speak gently with the, di the distressed man as if addressing a child while keeping a safe distance so as not to alarm him. You lecture him at length about the wonders of life. You follow this with several long-winded anecdotes from your own life, including important moral lessons at the end. The man jumps. Well, at least I have learned what works and what doesn't gain to diplomacy. <laughs> well, his diplomacy is so bad, it would have been god-awful. Uh, Roth just took it down by one. So now, our previous gain. This, we're going to be doing this for the rest of the guy's life at this rate. Previous gain was negated. Uh, minus four, basically, and we have six. So we can still take it up another six. Esther A. Bowles. Strange, but she is attractive. She's got a lot of nice traits. Um, the picture isn't attractive, but she has the attractive... The character, this character has the most pleasing physique, most attractive to the opposite sex. Plus one diplomacy. It was a bonus, but it wasn't the reason why I chose her. She is one of the best for the youngest that I went through. Homefried has been imprisoned by Filker Dalen. Concubine of Jorvik. Take concubine. Ambitious, gregarious, honest. Grey Eminence. Home free is right at my court. Okay. Uh, still doing that, working on that. They We basically defeated them quite soundly, actually. But, but we're just trying to siege this place right now. What is it called? It's not called Quimper, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Stay there and siege that place. 
and what's going on. The only army that's moving around at this moment is this guy. 20th April. 1st May, we won't catch them. Oh, we could if we stop them. Yeah, let's see. We probably can catch them now. 24th of May, 19th of May, we will catch them. See, some of these large areas to move about, it's easy to catch them. Because it takes so long to get from place to place. So now they kind of realize that, I guess. And now they're sticking where they are. How about anywhere else? Now oh, there's a fair sized one down there. Say, Shallon, they took us. We'll have to head down there after we siege this place. Yeah. This place needs a uh, another holding. Very poor. For some reason you lost your general. What the hell? Okay, let's go down here. I believe they took that from us. I'm trying to take more. Uh, I believe that when your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions, if proper leverage is obtained, obligate the vassal. Oh, look at this, 10,000 men. Let's... Well, we almost have it. Quimper, 83%. We'll leave it. Thank you. Remind me of the duties. I think, did we get rid of a faction? I don't know. Well, there's more places... Tons of armies to fight, so we'll have to continue on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe.